and put a bowl of hard-boiled eggs at one end of a table and a dish of tomatoes at the other and they just draw together like magnets. You won't find a finer sandwich than egg and tomato. Tomato Summer Pudding. This recipe is enough for four people and you need to begin preparing it in the morning, ready for supper time. So, first, oil teacups or similar size containers and line with cling film, making sure there's enough spare hanging over the edge to gather up and cover each pudding later on. Lightly brush rapeseed oil inside the cling filmed cups and set aside. To make the filling, finely slice onions, then chop cucumber into small dice and combine together in a large bowl. In a glass bowl, stir together boiling water and light soft brown sugar until dissolved. Add white wine vinegar and pour over onions and cucumber. Mix together and cover with cling film and leave to marinate for one hour. Meanwhile, cut the crusts off the sliced bread, line the teacups using discs of bread for the base and strips for the sides, remembering to cut larger discs for the lids. Now cut large juicy tomatoes in half. Scoop out the seeds into a small bowl and mash down to a pulp, adding a little freshly ground black pepper and salt. Spoon this juice into the cups, covering the bread base and allow to soak in. Chop up the tomato flesh and add to the strained cucumber and onion mixture, together with olive oil and more black pepper. Finally, crumble in feta cheese and mix thoroughly. Spoon carefully into the teacups, packing down tightly. Top with the bread lids, wrap over with cling film, and place a saucer on top of each cup with a weight on top and chill for a few hours until you need them. Turn out the puddings and dig in. You can trust old Max, you know, you really can. Hello, Wrigley Worm. Can I interest you in a slice of fruitcake? It's very tasty, you know. One for you, one for me. No? Oh.